Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dab Girl Deb. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful day this morning. Look at this pasture coming in for the birds. It's got peas in it and oats and all kinds of good stuff coming up. It's going to be really thick this season. And the flowers, the tulips are just getting finished. They're really pretty, I love them. And, um, yeah. So, it is not uh, the next day when I was going to power wash, I confess. <clears throat> I've been, um, I took two days off and crashed out, um, and then yesterday I got to spend the whole day with my friend Davey, and we had such a good time together. Um, so I've had a couple, three days of rest now, and uh, I feel like I'm ready to go again. Um, still have a lot of fatigue, but, you know, I hate that all the time. <laughs> okay, now that the recycling truck has gone by. So today is power washing day. Yay! <laughs> so here we go. I think I have everything pretty well set up on the boat. I got my rain pants on and my rain boots. And it's going to be sunny. And um, I think 72 today. So a little bit of a breeze out of the north, so it says the flags. So let's go up and um, see what's going on inside. So here we are in all her glory <laughs> and her filth yet. I think it's, uh, see people are slow rowing the boat because they want to check it out. <laughs> That's funny. I've, I'm going to meet a lot of really neat people with this project. I'm so excited. So some good documentation of the grunge before. <laughs> Oh, hang on, i got to plug that in. So I moved the helm. It's closer to the final position where I think I want it. And I like the idea that I can visualize what it's going to be like when I sit here, looking out the windows, ooh, watching whales and stuff, checking out the gauges for the day, a little warm coffee. Mmm happy for that. And I kind of decided that these gauges are pretty filthy on the back here. Um, so I'm going to wash them. <laughs> um, they're going to have plenty of time to dry. I've got compressed air so I can blow them out afterwards. And then um, I'm going to bag it right here. So then I've got the cables here run down. I've got them kind of tied together in the back here a little bit. Um, I cleaned out all the debris pretty much and um, um, went in here, cleaned out some stuff, pulled up some old uh, duct tape, which is cool. <laughs> and my role is, is that when you're working on a project and you're getting production done, it's uh, perfectly acceptable to drink a beer. So crack on and get work done. <laughs> Yep, I know Lyme patients shouldn't drink beer, but it's how I get production done. Got the wires tied up. Um, so I've got the pressure washer up on the roof. Got water pressure and power on. So I'm gonna go up there and get started. And then I come down here and, um, oh, by the way, I did drill a little hole right down there in the bottom of that V. So it is, there we go, right there. I drilled a hole right there, so it is starting to drain on its own, which is great. Um, yeah, that's really nice uh, work down there. I'm happy with that. So, she's not jacked up in the bow as much as I'd like her to be, but um, she's up against the front bumper of my truck, and I kind of like the idea the truck's keeping her from running away. It's, it's really flat here, and I do have blocks under the tires over here, so... This trailer's not going to go anywhere, but it could sway and rock forward and backwards a bit, so I like having the truck there. Yeah, I had to um, unhitch the truck so I could do some driving yesterday, and um, so trailer's fine. Okay, so I'm going to start washing, and um, 
peel away all the grunge and the layers and see what's going on. I've already seen things in the hole that I'm not happy with that I'll have to come back and patch and redo, right? But man, this was such a great little project. And I think it's so important to document like the journey of this. It's kind of interesting because when I went to some of the Lyme disease rallies, I had been uh, a member of ACT UP and helping, you know, with AIDS work in the 80s and 90s, and so I kind of understood how to protest, and I wasn't really there protesting at the end of the day, I was teaching other Lyme patients how to protest. And these video series, I think, are going to end up being a Luger um, series, because there's very little information about these boats out there. So, um, I think documenting what I'm seeing here, you know, even if people have these boats and they never tear them apart, they can see what I'm seeing on the inside. And um, it might be helpful to somebody down the road. And if that could be helpful to somebody down the road, I, that's awesome. So I'm going to get her power washed. Uh, we have rain coming in three days. So I want power washing done, and then I want windows up. Um, and get these windows in and uh, get her water tight from the outside. So I've got these four big windows and that one there, which um, I think is a new hatch. So, yeah, very good. Um, so I can do that before three days are up, and that way she'll shed water mostly, and I don't have to worry what's going on. And then, honestly, I think at that point what's going to happen is I'm going to... Um, so I think at that point what I'm going to do is actually put the boat in storage because um, I need to work on selling my ski boat and my camper um, and making space to keep the boat at the house because that's the right thing to do in the long term. Um, I really want to just jump in this boat and start working on it right now but it's on the street and I don't like that. Um, eventually somebody's going to complain and I don't want to upset a neighbor. So. In the, at the end of the day, I have to sell those things. I, that's the bargain I made with myself. So I need to focus on those things and get them sold. And then I can bring the boat, drop her right in that spot over there where she's going to be home. And I can work on her at liberty. So I don't have to worry about, you know, interfering with people on the street. and like overspray from power washing. <laughs> I want to um, keep my neighbors happy with me, you know. So, yeah. Um, so that's the plan today. I'm going to get this washed up. We've got three or four days. We'll have a good time to dry out and then get these windows done. And um, this is just going to be temporary to put these windows in. Um, it's not going to be watertight, which is fine, but I just want to keep most of the wet out um, to protect this wood down here. All right, guys, I'm going to go up top and get started and... Um, when I'm power washing, you probably want to turn down your volume because it's an electric power washer and it's got kind of a high-pitched little line to it. Um, so some people don't like the sound of it. Um, but yeah, when that thing's running, definitely turn down your sound for yourself. <laughs> 